Hi fellas, um, Happy New Year. It's uh, just going towards the end in the UK of the 1st of January 2016. Just trying to be here from Mr. Mark Warburton, aka Crew Wolf. I think he's moving over to Mark Warburton again for the new year. Go through that in a minute. So I wish you all a happy and healthy 2016. Um, this is Mark's, I'll show you the bottle there. It's done it unblitzed. It's 5.2% Christmas Ale bottle, 1st October 2015. So 5.2% is, um, I'd say, on the higher end of a session of old beer, but um, can manage a few of those. Right. Alright, I'll read um, exactly what Mark's done. So, milestone kit. Um, May for this Christmas, I used a beer kit and Hanser and dry hop with Cascade. These Kent Golden's come out quite spicy for Christmas. Right, so um, first appearance. Had, head has dissipated, did pour this a few minutes ago. Um, oh, it smells really nice. I opened this 20 minutes ago. Um, had a bit of trouble with the camera, uh, phone, and the video. But uh, they won't get much of the aroma. That's warmed up nicely, that. Um, straight out, it was straight out of the fridge. I would say it's now probably um, 8 to 10 degrees without my uh, little gun thermometer. But um, I would say, looking at it, oh, so it's crystal clear, um, caramel. Looks like an English bitter, not overly carved. Let's get a nose on this. So there's a bit of cascade coming through there. Spices. Got getting a little bit of a cinnamon that type of thing. The molasses. Not an awful lot more. Um, Appearance, as I say, that's a uh, crack on that. Let's uh, dive in another look and cheers. Cheers to you, Mark. Um, I'm getting caramel there. Um, a bit of a crack on for something like this. Um, and this is, I think, six, that's a mark, say, three months in the bottle. I think this will be even better this time next year. I'm hoping Mark saves a few, either for himself or for me. Caramel, it's a medium, medium body, refreshing. You get a zing of the, refreshing zing of the um, hops down. I think that's the East Kent Golden, it's a bit for bittering. I presume it's Cascade for the aroma, perhaps flame out something like that, or maybe a hot tea. Yeah, I'll uh, come back to this in a minute. Right, um, my plans for 2016, people keep uh, putting a few things up, so I'll give you my plans. A um, couple of nice additions for Christmas, I may show them in a future video. Um, dream myself to um, 20 litre glass carboy. Um, I just put a brew on yesterday, which was at New Year's Eve. Start and end the year you mean to go on, what I reckon. Um, it's a dry, um, dry stout. I'm hoping to produce a similar um, beer to the something like the Guinness, something like that. I'm not saying it'll be as good as Guinness, um, although people do have a bit of fluctuation whether the Guinness is. Is that good? I've always found it alright. Um, I know it's nitrogen purge to give that white creamy head. I won't produce it obviously, we can get some kind of head. I'll be happy with that. Um, it's from the Bible, I'm not sure. Where is it? I've got to, I've got to put it somewhere safe, not on me. Anyway, I think it works out about 4.6%, so that um, did yesterday. First time I used a uh, liquid yeast uh, on the stir plate for a couple of days. It was a W, I think it's WLP004 Irish Ale Yeast. Um, my only concern I did use um, on the stir plate, uh, the room it was in, 
wasn't really that warm, it was only 14, 15 degrees, so um, this time of year where I do most of brewing, it's not the warmest place. So any, any of you guys got any ideas, should it be alright? It did seem to have a little bit of um, the yeasty on the bottom, but I know some people decant and then just pour the yeast on the bottom, of actually give it a good shake up, sanitise everything and it, a bungo lot in, so I'm pretty sure it's working all right um, within about four or five hours it did start uh, some activity on the airlock so I'm hoping to um, get a good result out of that that's going in the bottle so there's going to be a, quite a few of those going out and I'd like to apologize to a couple out there um, mainly uh, Cidermeister Alan cheers mate them beers will be coming and uh, I'm sorry about the delay um, you know, busy time with family and that, and sometimes things do get in the way, even work, unfortunately. Uh, so that's that. Um, there were some beers going out, uh, definitely in January. Um, hopefully get something out to the guys as well. I will message you in due course. And um, big cheers to uh, Mick uh, Flat, Flat Beer. He has asked me the address a couple of weeks ago. not sent it, but uh, I'll send it, mate. I'm sorry about that. But um, they've not had a lot that much. Uh, girls' homework, that kind of thing. So, right, so that's my plan for that. Um, I've got a uh, plan for this year. So, once I do is six beers um, from different countries. So, my take on the Irish one is going to be for Ireland, obviously. Uh, and an English, an English bitter. Um, I'm going to do a Belgian beer, definitely. So, that's a three. Um, so, a bit of input from you fellas over there, um, it can, it'll be all grain, probably. Um, so we've got them three, so I've got three more from worldwide, it could be Czech Republic, it could be Germany, it could be New Zealand, um, Australia, USA. Uh, I'd like a bit of input, uh, put a comment down below, um, what you think I should do doesn't matter what strength it is. Um, I know I've got the largest mash tun, so it's like a high strength, like a Russian Imperial Stout, something like that, double IPA. I can do a smaller batch, make a half batch, but it won't matter because it's not going to keg, it's going to bottle, so... Um, my plan. Um, I've just finished my... Oh, tell you what, that's getting better and better as a it goes down and I should have left it out a couple of hours really uh, right plan after that on the yeast cake is Robinson's Old Sum um, this is a really strong beer I think it used to be a seasonal beer mainly on Christmas and I think it still is to an extent but you can get it all year round now it's an 8.5% ABV um, what have we got in there pale malt, crystal malt, white sugar um, and I know where uh, it's that book, um, Tube D knows mentioned a while back, I did get it. I think I've got most of the home brewing books now, so my excuse to uh, make shite beers. Um, I'll say no. I know Dino's um, was concerned, you see there, white sugar, but I'm pretty sure I've read somewhere, I've seen somewhere, a lot of the breweries do. Put uh, sugar in there to bump up the ABV, keep the grain bill down and make more profit. It doesn't really matter to me, but I will go with what's in there. So I'm going to do a batch of that. Um, I've got, I've got two recipes, 19, 23 or 25 litres, I'll go 19 litres. It's not the biggest mashed sum, but I'm pretty sure for 19 litres what we've got there. Five. Um, 5.4 kilograms, so I'm pretty sure I should get that to me mash tun. I can always um, just pare it down a bit. But it's going in the bottle, um, and that's going on top of the yeast cake of the dry Irish stout at the moment. So that's that's not one of my uh, six. Um, it's been extra one for me, and I'm going to send some out. So right, wrap it up there. 2016. Here we go. Look at that clarity on that, absolutely fantastic. Um, very, very English bitter like looking. Um, Lacing's holding there. 
head's dissipating slightly, it's coming back a bit of swirl. Not spice, no. It's come right through. And I'm, I'm always saying, oh, don't, don't serve your beers too cold, and I've just made the same mistake myself, but um, I'll try to rectify that, so. Just realised what that's actually tasting like. Might sound actually crazy, this. I had a Thigston, all peculiar. A couple of weeks ago, I got a couple, I know, and... Um, Mr. Paul Wicksteed sadly passed away. One of his favourite beers was that. Um, and the pan had supercharger. But this beer to me, it's not exactly the same as this thick snow but. It's got the, the caramel, it's got the bitter in there. And if you bear with me, I've, I've actually got the recipe in this book. I can find it. Um, and I've looked at it, and I think it's one of it. May well do. Um, so, there we go, thick's and all peculiar. Um, looking at there, it's 5.7 per cent. And what have we got in there? Um, it's got fuggal hops, I think. I'm pretty sure they are pretty similar on the Goldens, pretty similar to. Uh, these Kent Goldens, not saying not so what kind of golden, but to me that's a, and it's a, oh, it's not as, um, this one of Mark's is not as strong, but it's just that kind of taste. Yeah, that's exactly. I wish I had another old peculiar to, not, you know, to compare. It's very, very similar to that. It must be to do with the hops, the green bill. Um, so look at there, pale malt, crystal malt, chocolate malt. On this it's a schedule of 90 minutes. But uh, okay, enough of my ramblings, sorry about that fellas. So uh, cheers, 2016. Bit of a knock to you fellas out there who do watch, and, and ladies obviously. Um, I've not put a comment on a video before, you know, you quite want to leave a comment. You don't have to put much, but uh, most of us do get back to you. I know my vid last video I've not got back. I've been so busy. Um, but I will answer in due course. So uh, cheers. Don't forget to uh, like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Thumb up. And uh, cheers. Thanks again Mr Mark Warburton. I've got your notes there for the rest of them mate. And I will go through them in due course. Uh, really good to meet you a while back. It's the first brew cheer we've met. And... Uh, you know, it's a fantastic community. Um, you haven't met people from other parts of the world in person, but, uh, you know, even just messaging comments, something like that, you just feel like you do know these people. You look forward to videos coming out at the start of the week. Um, you know, it's just, it's just like a bit of a, almost like a soap opera, I think. It's, it's that good, and... You know, soap operas or anything on television, you're not really part of it, but uh, you, you've not got to put videos up, you know, you, you can just watch videos, you can put the thumb up on, on the, like the odd one. Um, I watch loads of videos and I don't come on enough of them. I do watch the uh, videos on the telly, um, but I can't comment on them um, and thumb up. So what I'll do, I'll do it afterwards on my phone or a laptop if I can get hold of it. Uh, trouble is there, uh, you watch that many videos, you forget, and before you know it, the next one's come round, so uh, cheers fellas, um, wrap it up there again, sorry about that, I'll uh, just my bit of waffle, so cheers, I hope 2015 was alright, we had our ups and downs, I know, um, hopefully 2016, uh, we're better for all of us, uh, happy new year, um, I thought to the people who've lost, you know, loved ones, friends, acquaintances, you know, in the, in the last year, and let's hope for a bigger and better year next year. And uh, cheers, and I'll catch you later.